So when I built my dream office setup recently, I was still using this itsy bitsy tiny mouse here. And honestly, things were fine for a while. Of course, I had to swap out the batteries every now and then. And aside from it looking like a toy in my hands, I didn't think that I needed a new mouse. It wasn't until my fiance saw me working one day and asked, why are you using such a small mouse with your large hands? Then I started to think, hmm, maybe it is time to upgrade my mouse that I've been using for four years. So then I did what I do best and I saw countless YouTube videos, read a ton of Reddit threads, and looked at reviews on what is the best mouse for productivity. And no matter where I went, I kept seeing the same thing, this Logitech MX Master 3S. So you've probably seen this mouse in a lot of other videos, but some people just don't get into exactly why this is the best productivity mouse. So in this video, I'm gonna do a deep dive review of this mouse and answer the question of why exactly is this mouse so popular? This review is gonna consist of five sections, the basics, aesthetics, features, software, and conclusion. So let's start with the basics of this mouse. It costs $99 brand new and it comes in three different colors, graphite, white, and black. I went with the graphite option, but I wish I bought the black one because I like having my tech all black. But honestly, after looking at pictures between the graphite and the black option, the colors aren't that too far off. Now on Amazon, there is a version that comes with a free Adobe Creative Cloud subscription and I'll leave a link to that in my bio. Full disclaimer, it is an affiliate link and I just wanna say thank you for anyone who uses that and helping support the channel. But let's go to the next section and dive into the aesthetics of this mouse. When I first took a glance at this, I noticed three things. One, it is a lot bigger than my current tiny Logitech mouse. Two, it looks a lot more ergonomic as well and I was wondering what is this winged edge on the side that it has here? And three, even though it has a lot more buttons, it still maintains a nice and sleek form factor. The heel of this mouse is made out of a soft rubbery material and honestly, it feels really nice to the touch and comfortable to hold. I've heard a few reports from people that after months or even years of use from this mouse, the heel part will start to deteriorate a little bit. And honestly, I got a little scared of that too. But for me, this has been perfectly fine and there have been no signs of deterioration even though I've had this mouse for about five months now. The buttons on the underside of this mouse are made from a partially recycled plastic material and I really like how the color blends well with the rubber heel. And lastly, the two scroll wheels are made out of textured steel and it definitely adds some weight to the mouse but not too heavy to the point where it's uncomfortable to use. Overall, I really like the design of this mouse and even though it has a lot more buttons, I like that they kept the design subtle so that it looks more professional when at your desk. Now let's get into the features of this mouse. Before I bought it and saw all of the extra buttons, I was wondering how exactly is this gonna help my work and productivity? And as a content creator, a lot of my time does go into editing so I immediately began to look up ways how this mouse can improve my editing process. But even outside of video editing, I found myself using the scroll wheel and extra buttons and a lot of other apps as well. So starting with the scroll wheel in between the left and right click buttons of this mouse, I really like how you can scroll normally bit by bit like most mice work today, or you can press this little button underneath the scroll wheel and then it changes the behavior so you can scroll infinitely. Now this is really helpful when you wanna to get to the top or bottom of a page very quickly because all you gotta do is apply a little force to the wheel and it keeps on spinning until the momentum stops or you stop it yourself. And this will work within any app and it saves a lot of time and finger muscles when you're browsing the web for a long time or reading a very long document. The left and right click buttons on this mouse are so much quieter than a normal mouse. Honestly, it's almost silent. Just listen to it. Now this took a second for me to get used to, but I do really like it because it keeps my office nice and calm and quiet. And on the side of the mouse where your thumb goes, there is another scroll wheel. And personally, I've never seen this on a mouse before, and it's definitely one of its defining features. Although the thumb scroll wheel doesn't allow you to scroll infinitely, it does behave a little bit different than normal scroll wheels since it doesn't have sections. Instead, it provides a really smooth scrolling experience. Now I found this scroll wheel to be an absolute game changer when I'm video editing or browsing the web because I no longer have to drag and click that horizontal scroll bar and instead I can just use the thumb scroll wheel and scroll left and right through my pages or through my video timeline. Underneath the scroll wheel there are two buttons that can be mapped to do almost anything and we'll get into a little bit later in the video how to map buttons to do what you want. But my first use case for these buttons was to help me trim or cut videos when I'm video editing. So when I'm using CapCut or DaVinci Resolve and I press this forward button on the video timeline, it deletes everything after the cursor that I'm at. And when I press the back button, it deletes everything before the cursor. Cutting and trimming up videos used to take a lot of time before I made these two shortcuts and I'm so glad I did. Now you may have noticed this winged edge on the side of the mouse and not only is it a good place to rest your thumb or your palm, but it's also yet another button. This thumb button, or also called the gestures button, is very sneaky, but personally it's my favorite feature of this mouse. Just like the other buttons, this one can be mapped to do almost anything, but when you connect it to a Mac and install the software for the first time, 
by default, it becomes your multitasking button. By pressing down with your thumb and moving the mouse either left or right, you can switch between entire desktops on your Mac. And if you want to see all of your windows at a glance, just press the button again and move the mouse upward and it'll open the app expose or mission control view on your Mac. Normally, if you wanted to get to this view, you would have to use your keyboard shortcuts or use a trackpad, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having a mouse anyway. Lastly, on the very bottom, there is an on off switch, a USB port for charging. And honestly, I really don't use it much because this thing has great battery life. I think I've charged it like two times in five months. And lastly, it has this really convenient button at the bottom that helps you switch between computers using Using Bluetooth. I don't use this button often since I usually connect my mouse using the USB dongle, but it is nice that they included this feature and I think it's really helpful. Now I know we just went through a lot of features and buttons and if you're feeling overwhelmed, no need to worry because once you install this mouse to your computer, it doesn't force you to do any config or setup and you can use it as a normal mouse if you want. But if you want to get the most out of this mouse, then you're going to need to use the dedicated software called Logi Options Plus. The dedicated software that comes with this mouse is one of the most common areas that I saw complaints about online. People were saying that it would forget their settings or crash all the time. But honestly, I've been using it for a few months and I haven't had any hiccups yet. Once you install Logi Options Plus and connect your mouse using Bluetooth or the USB dongle, you'll be taken to a dashboard that'll show all of your connected devices. And when you click on the MX Master 3S, it'll take you to a customization screen where you can change the functionality of almost any button. The UI is very simple and intuitive. You just click on the button or scroll wheel that you want to change, and you can change the functionality to be anything. Now, there are a few options here. Like we can set the back side button to control the volume, control the brightness on our computer, or set it to a keyboard shortcut. But one of the best features of this customization is that you can change the functionality of a button depending on which app you're using. For example, when I'm video editing, I like to set the back and forward buttons to keyboard shortcuts so that I can easily trim up videos. But when I'm browsing the web, I like to use these buttons to go back and forth on a particular website. Now, some of the real power of this software lies in the smart actions. With smart actions, you can set up even more sophisticated functions for your mouse. I'm still honestly trying to find ways to use smart actions to optimize my workflow, but it's really cool nonetheless, and you can tell that a lot of thought and innovation went into the design of this app. And it's just amazing how much you can fine tune this mouse to optimize your workflow. So now on to the finale. Is this really the best mouse for productivity? Is it worth all the hype? Personally, I'm gonna have to say heck yeah to this one. $99 is the most I've spent on a mouse in my entire life, and I think that it was worth every penny. It feels so much more comfortable to use than my previous mouse, especially since I have large hands. The extra buttons really help and enhance my workflow since I no longer have to click and drag around everything or switch my hand from the mouse to the keyboard whenever I'm doing work. And the software customization was a huge bonus for me. I did not think that they could pack so much functionality with such a small device. Overall, I'm very happy that I bought this mouse despite some of the complaints that I saw online, and it definitely has a lot of features that you just can't find in other mice. But whether this is the best mouse for you will certainly depend on your workflow and what kind of ergonomics that you prefer when at your desk. But let me know what you think in the comments. Is the Logitech MX Master 3S truly the best work productivity mouse? If you've watched all the way up until this point, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video review was helpful. And if you want me to create more videos like this, I really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. Creating YouTube videos has been such a fun process for me, and your support absolutely helps my currently small channel grow. But I can't wait to see you next time.